Hi everyone, this is Engineering with Brian. I'm Brian and today I'll be showing you how to make DNA in Onshape. And of course there are a variety of ways of making DNA, but I'll be showing you how I would make DNA in Onshape. So I'd start by clicking on the top plane and I'm going to sketch and draw a circle. And I'm going to dimension this circle to be, let's do 20 millimeters. And I'm going to hit confirm. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to use the helix command. So this command right here. If you can't find the helix command, you can go to search tools and type in helix. And it should appear. And then I'm going to change it from turns to height and turns. I'm going to click the circle and I'm going to change the height to 100 millimeters. Of course, you can adjust the height, but I think this looks good for the DNA I want. And I'm going to hit confirm. And then I'm going to show sketch one again, and I'm going to use the helix command once more. So if I click my circle and adjust it to 100 millimeters, I'm going to get the exact same, uh, the exact same curve. So what I want to do is I want to change the start angle to 180 degrees. And I'm going to hit confirm. And in order to finish making the phosphate backbone of my DNA, I'm going to go ahead and sketch on the front plane and I'm going to draw two circles at exactly where the helix touches the front plane. And I'm going to dimension each of these circles to be one millimeter in diameter. And I'm going to do the same for the other curve. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to use two sweeps to finish up the phosphate backbone. I'm going to click sweep and then I'm going to click one of my circles and cl click the sweep path for that circle and I'm going to hit confirm. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other circle. Like so. So now I've finished making the phosphate backbone for my DNA. And now I'm going to be making my nitrogenous spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch on the front plane once more. And I'm going to be drawing circles for my bases. So I'm going to draw a circle where the two curves appear to intersect. Now I'm going to dimension this circle to be one millimeter. And I'm going to make sure that the distance between the circle and the origin is 12.5 over 2. And what, so 6.25. And then I'm going to be using a linear pattern to make, to kind of, instead of sketching a ton of these circles, just easily make sure that all of these intersections have a circle that measures one millimeter in diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a vertical construction line, and then I'm gonna use the linear pattern command, and I'm gonna click on my circle right here, make it vertical, and then I'm gonna change the height to be 12.5 and I'm going to make sure that I'm repeating this linear pattern seven times so each of these should have a circle line actually I have to repeat it eight times there we go and then I'm going to hit confirm and then I'm going to hit extrude Click sketch three, and I'm gonna extrude it symmetrically 20 millimeters. And I'm gonna merge it with all, and hit confirm. So I should get a shape like this. 
and then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing ex the exact same thing just on different planes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sketch on the right plane. I'm gonna hit sketch, the right plane, and I'm gonna be drawing more of these small circles. And I'm going to mention the distance between the origin and the center of this circle to be 12.5. I mentioned the circle to have a diameter of one millimeter and use the linear pattern command. And make sure that I'm repeating this eight times. Maybe seven is better. And hitting confirm. Then I'm gonna hit extrude, sketch four, 20 millimeters, symmetric extrusion, and hit confirm once more. So I get a shape like this. So I'm almost there. What I'm now gonna do is I'm going to Go ahead and show sketch three, and I'm going to hide my top plane, my front plane, and my right plane. And I'm going to go ahead and make a plane from this construction line I created and set the angle to be 45 degrees. And we'll hit confirm. Whoa. I'm going to right click the plane and I'm going to view normal to it. And now I'm gonna make some more sketches. I'm gonna make another circle right here and dimension it to be one millimeter in diameter. And then I'm going to have to dimension this. I want to set it to be 12.5 over four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the exact same thing using a linear command, making it vertical. And setting the distance to be 12.5. Repeating it seven times, seven times, eight times. Right. Repeating it eight times. There we go. And I'm going to hit confirm. Then I'm going to go ahead and press extrude, sketch 5, add 20 millimeters using asymmetric extrusion, and hitting confirm. So I get this shape. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to make another plane, click on the same line, making sure that the angle is 45 degrees, and but making it in the opposite direction. I'm gonna go ahead and hide my first plane and view normal to my second plane. Then I'm gonna hit sketch, click on my second plane, and draw a, let's do a circle at the top, right here. Dimension it to be one millimeter, and dimension distance between here and wait actually I'll put this circle at this point right here and I'm gonna dimension the distance between these two points to be 9.375 like so sure that the dimension for the circle is accurate and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete the circle all right I'm gonna zoom out and use the linear pattern command once more I'm gonna click my circle make sure that it is vertical making sure that it is vertical so, 
and dimensioning the distance between them to be 12.5 and making repeating it seven times. Right. And I'm going to hit confirm, click extrude, sketch 6, 20 millimeters, symmetric, and I'm going to hit confirm. And if I hide my planes, hide my sketches, like so, I should get a strand of DNA, like so. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and fill it some of the sides, but I think it looks good the way it is. If this video helped, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, please leave a comment in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.